Asian tour action returns to Vietnam for the first time since 2015. It's also the first time in its 12-year history that the Asian Development Tour stops on Vietnam's sunny shores. This time round, it's the coastal city of Da Nang that plays host to an international golf championship. Launched in 2010, the ADT, sanctioned by the Asian Tour, will ultimately create a breeding ground for emerging stars across Asia and around the world. The 11th leg on the season's calendar, the BRG Open Golf Championship will be played at the impressive Nicholas Course at the BRG Da Nang Golf Resort, who officially opened its doors back in 2018. This course here, the Nicholas course, arguably the best golf course in the country at the moment in wonderful condition. And to be able to be both the host and the title sponsor, it's a great honour. So we're very, very privileged to be in this situation. This golf course has been designed and built to host international golf championships. And the unique features here are, of course, the vertical bulkhead walls, which are these vertical uh, North American hardwood walls that go into the water features. Uh, some of the greens even go all the way up uh, to the wood and then into the water. So you could be just two feet difference between putting and dropping the ball under a penalty. We've worked so hard to create a world-class course for the players to enjoy. It's an amazing test. It uses every club in the bag from the tee and to the green. So all in all, a pretty good course to test a player and find a true champion. No doubt the players will be in for a challenge with the end of the ADT season in sight. It's a battle to get into the top 10 on the money list as only the cream of the crop will earn coveted Asian tour cards for the following season. So following the BNI Siputra Golfpreneur event leading up to this championship, Chon Latit Chuembungam still holding down the top spot on the ADT Order of Merit. Sutipat Pratip Tienchai in third. And Pusit Supapratmai, well, he's the proverbial bubble boy heading into event number 11 on the season. I think everybody in the top 10 right now has a good chance. There's a lot of, a lot of season left, so a lot can happen but um, it's better to be there than outside trying to get in at the moment. I think right now I'm eighth, so like hopefully, like I said, I hopefully I can finish the season strong and keep my position inside the top 10 to get the, my card for next year. My season's been a bit up and down. I've missed, I think, five cuts total, but I had a win earlier in the year in Jakarta as well. So I'm close to the top 10 uh, in the order of merit for the uh, ADT. Uh, so I'm just trying to stay focused on one shot at a time and not get too caught up on trying to chase the uh, Asian Tour card. So it's China's Gu Xin Chen who takes a slender one-shot advantage over the Swede Oscar Zetterwall into the final round of this 54-hole event in beautiful sunny Vietnam. Noi Jefferson Go just one further back at six under par. So a warm welcome then to the final round highlights of the inaugural BRG Open Golf Championship. The weather, as it's been all week, set fair and pretty much perfect for some entertaining coverage this afternoon. I'm Timothy Lowe, good to have your company this Friday afternoon in Vietnam. Let's get to some early round highlights and we'll start with Singapore's Chu Tzu Huang. It's a putt for birdie at the third, taking him to three under par. The former Washington Husky on the move early to the swinging farmer, tall Englishman, William Harold. That was for par at the second, so heading in the wrong direction, early doors. Lloyd Jefferson go. Heading off to the best start possible. This is a birdie putt at the first. Moved him alongside Zetterwall, a share of second. Well, that was a temporary tie for second with Zetterwall because at the next hole, the Swede 
found some trouble. This was his third shot. He'll go on to miss that and drop back into solo third at six under. The overnight leader, Chen Gu Sin, popped this one in from mid-range at the same hole to open up a two-shot lead. And it wasn't to be for long. Lloyd Jefferson go on the move early on. This is third shot to the third. Delightful bit of wedge work from the Filipino. That birdie would take him to within one of Chen's lead. So, as we join the action, it's still Kusin Chen up top. And Lloyd Jefferson go and Oscar Zetterwall flip-flopping on that leaderboard. Still early days in Da Nang. Here is Lloyd Jefferson go. Tee shot at the par 3 fourth. 229 yards, pins in the right-hand right section of the green. And that's another fine iron shot for the 27-year-old from Cebu. Now, Chu Zhu Huang. Second shot to the long par 5, sixth. Oh, and finds the putting surface. Two good hits from the Chu train there, but a lengthy eagle putt to come. Now, championship leader, Gu Sinchen. It's very much a homemade golf swing, but it certainly has proved to be effective. Already a win on the ADT so far this season. It's just going to catch the slope and trickle back a couple of feet, but that's fine. Now to the other Singaporean in this group. Gregory Fu found the penalty area with his second shot, so now playing four. And, well, not bad. He's given himself an outside chance to salvage a par. Oh, Gusin Chen's ball rolling all the way off the false front. Now, oh, fiddly little pitch left for the Chinese player. So tough landing on that down slope. Oh, under pressure. Especially with Lloyd Jefferson go staring down an outside birdie opportunity. Back to six and Chu Tzu Huang to vault him up to three under. Oh, take a chair. Oh dear, settle down, settle down. Rush of blood to the head there for Chu. Now, Zeta Wall. One over par for this final round so far. This is the feature here at the Nicholas course. Lots of slopes and contours in the green. That's not bad. Now, Gregory Fu to save his par. Oh, dear. Can't afford to do that when you're chasing. Now, go up the hill. Oh, go it does, straight in the middle for Lloyd Jefferson. Go, that's his third birdie in the opening four holes, and he's tied for the lead. Well, no worse feeling in golf than a three-putt par on a par five. Shoots a Huang, oh dear. Already made a couple of bogeys today. He can't get one back at six. Now, important part for Kusin Chen to stay in a share of the lead. Oh, that is excellent from the Chinese player. There's two tied at the top. Lloyd Jefferson go. He's three under through four. Your overnight leader with one birdie getting up to nine under par. The pair of them, three shots clear of Oscar Zetterwald through four holes in this final round in Vietnam.
Welcome back. We're in the coastal city of Da Nang in central Vietnam. Apart from the impressive Nicholas course at the BRG Da Nang Golf Resort, Da Nang also known for its sandy beaches, history as a French colonial port and a plethora of attractions. She certainly has plenty to offer her visitors. We uh, report to the city uh, to work with Asian Tour to host the uh, BRG Open Golf Championship Da Nang number 2022. By hosting this event, we really want to uh, show the golfers coming to play and their friends and their relatives how beautiful we are here in Da Nang City. And we really want to welcome them back here for visiting. And what a place it is to come for the ADT event. Unfortunately for the Swede, Oscar Zezewald, he is not enjoying his time this final round. This was a putt for birdie at the seventh, and watch this one go skating off the far side of the green into the penalty area. He'd go on to make double and drop two more shots at eight and ten. Well, Gusin Chen has hit a real rough patch in the middle of his round. That was a putt for par at nine dropping out of a share of the lead and handing it to the Filipino. Lloyd Jefferson go at the turn. William Harrell, the Englishman. This tee shot at the par 3 11th. Four under par as he made it to the 169 yard hole. And that excellent tee shot setting up a birdie to take him to five under par. Kusin Chen struggles continue. This little tiddler for par at the 13th wouldn't drop. That was his fourth bogey in a five hole stretch. Lloyd Jefferson go, the beneficiary of Chen's struggles. This was an excellent par save at the 14th to keep him at eight under. Matt Killen would be making a move, playing a couple of groups in front of the leaders. This is second shot to the 15th. Setting up a second birdie of the day to take Matt Killen up to five under par. So, a three-shot cushion with five to play for Lloyd Jefferson Go. But still, anything can happen around this Nicholas course. You've seen, especially when the wind gets up, there's lots of trouble all around. And there's been some troubles for Kusin Chen so far this Friday. Second shot into 15, trying to do what Matt Killen did. Going to use that backboard very nicely. Excellent shot from the resilient Chen. Here is the aforementioned Matt Killen. Englishman in the penultimate group this afternoon. Tee shot at the 16th, 182 yards on the scorecard. And all right, safely on the putting surface, but a couple of humps and hollows to negotiate. Oh, there's all kinds of problem for Lloyd Jefferson Go on 15. Straight off the straight and narrow, his third shot now. T shot in trouble. Second shot, not much better. And keep coming. Down you come, down you come. That's a clever shot for Lloyd Jefferson Go using the backboard brilliantly. And he's afforded himself a chance to escape with another brilliant par. Now, William Harold from the back left edge of the 16th. Pacey Greens, we've seen it so far today. Uh, not for the first time this week. The putt goes trundling an uncomfortable distance pass. A huge putt for Lloyd. But a cup and a half a break from his right. Oh, not to be this time. So this hope for the chasing pack. Championship leader just dropping back. Now seven under par. Now, Killen. You've seen Harold's butt go running on past. So he knows this is going to be fairly speedy. And that's very nice weight on that putt from Matt Killen. He's going to tap that one in for par. Goes in Chen. Yeah, to get to six under par. Yeah, well done. Takes advantage of that fine wedge shot. 
So a two-shot swing brings him a little bit closer to Lloyd Jefferson Go. Now Harold, the comebacker for par. Mm -mm. Three stab for William Harold. Just two holes left to play. Oh, you feel that might be his race run for the week. So, first look of the day at Chanat Sakupol Pai San. Level par for this final round, but a chance to end with a birdie at the last. Ah, knew it when he hit it. A frustrating finish for Chanat. One birdie against one bogey, but he'll sign for a level par round of 72 to end his week at two under par. So the target set in the clubhouse at two under by Saku Paul Pai San. Getting tight at the top though. A two shot swing means Lloyd Jefferson goes lead over Chun Kusin. Just the slender one with two holes to play. So on the penultimate hole, Lloyd safely down the middle of the fairway. Oh, that is a brave second shot straight over the top of the flagstick. Mighty opportunity awaits and pressure piled on Goosin Chun. Doesn't have a swing coach. Turned pro all the way back in 2018 at the 19-year-old. Oh, that is a terrific wow. response indeed. What a duel these two are having in the sun on the central coast. Now at the home hole, Matt Killen. Only five under par. You feel birdie at worst is required. An eagle would certainly help, and that's just going to trundle onto the front edge. So there's a chance for Matt Gillen. Now, Zeta Wall. Hanging tough this afternoon. Taking a page out of the Jordan Spieth book, looking at the hole as he putts. Didn't quite work on that occasion. Now, here is Killen. Eagle opportunity. Don't get too greedy, though. Up and over that hump. Just cozy it down, and ugh, that's a little more work than he would have liked. Back to 17, and Lloyd to get to 8 under. Uh oh. Never a good sign when you pop out of your posture that quickly. So he can't make a birdie at 17, up to 18, and Killen to get in the clubhouse at 6 under par. Excellent stuff from the Englishman. The closing round of 70, a wonderful week in Vietnam. Is it going to be enough? You feel he might just come up short because this is to tie the lead. Gu Sin Chen. Yeah. Look at what it means to him. There was a real rough patch in the middle of the round, dropping four shots in five holes. He's got a couple of them back. Watched on some very keen spectators it has been a treat for the eyes not that putt though the Zeta Walt another three putt it's becoming a very expensive final round for the Swede We're back at four over par so we're deadlocked heading up the final hole Lloyd Jefferson go Chen Goosin at seven under who's going to lift that beautiful trophy and at the conclusion of play today, surely one of those two men laid up with his second shot at Goose in Chun. He's left it handy, though. Just trying to stick one in, a pile of pressure on Lloyd, and that is wonderful from Goose in Chun. And Lloyd just short of the green in a good spot. We saw Matt Killen get up and down from here. And the penultimate group. Gave the whole a fright. Brave effort. Good sized crowds. First time the Asian tour has been back in Vietnam since the whole tram opened in 2015. Zeta Wall. Can he finish in style? Down the hill at the last. Ah, one had to drop, surely, for Oscar Zeta Wall. That's the third time he's birdied 18 this week. It's a disappointing 75 to finish, but another. Good week's work for Oscar Zetterwall. Now, to get in the clubhouse first at 8 under, Goosin for his birdie. Yeah. 
Well, job done there. Birdie, birdie finish. 72 for Gu Sin Chen. Are we in for some extra time? Chairperson Madam Niao would really like to see some more golf, wouldn't she? Lloyd Jefferson go to send us into a playoff. Well, extra time it is. A terrific battle between Lloyd and Kusin. It's going to continue. We're headed for a sudden death playoff. Brilliant birdies from the pair of them. They end the week at eight under par. Back down the 18th, we'll go again to settle who wins the BRG Open Golf Championship in Dana. Now, tee shot safely down the middle of the fairway for Lloyd Jefferson Go attacking into this trouble all around this hole. And oh no, goodness me, that's a cold top. So advantage squarely in Gusin Chen's corner right now. Well, did not leave anything behind with that one. He wasn't going to go flirting with the penalty area. Safely out to the right. Jefferson go in the soup. So dropping and playing four. Last chance saloon. Needs a good one. He likes it. He's staring it down. Uh, an excellent shot indeed. He's on the putting surface, but that's going to be well, a par at best. Just needs three. Usin Chen, have another look at this. I mean, he did look down at his hand like maybe it was a little bit sweaty. Club slipped because you don't see professionals hit that shot too often. So, three shots from here. We'll give him his second win of the season. Oh, played it deftly right into the bank. Usin Chen. Just two putts to win at least because this is for a par for Lloyd Jefferson Go. To force him to make it, it's a brilliant little pitch. Unfortunately for the player who once led it by three shots in this final round, he's going to come up short to close it out in style. Well, it matters not for Goose in Chen. A par is good enough to see the Chinese player pick up a second win on the season. Move to the number one spot on the ADT Order of Merit. And the champagne showers will begin in Da Nang. Gu Xinjian, your winner at the BRG Open Golf Championship. Final confirmation of the front page of that leaderboard. It's a top five finish. Oscar Zetterwald, despite his struggles, Harrison Gilbert will enjoy a closing round of 68 to leave him in solo fifth. We both hit a great shot to tee off, but uh, his second shot, he just topped it into the water. So I just, I saw he hit a shot, I just feel relaxed. So with that victory, Gu Xin Chen tops the three ties at the top of the Asian Development Tour Order of Merit. Remember, at the end of the season, the top 10 on the money list will earn Asian tour cards for next season. Indonesian Daraji Ramandan Putra holding down the 10th and final spot. So Chen Gu Sin picking up his trophy from chairman of Da Nang's People's Committee, Mr. Li Trung Chin, and the chair lady of the BRG group, Madam Win Thi Na. So congratulations, Gu Xin Chen. That's about it from us this week in Da Nang. We'll see you next time at the OB Golf Invitational in Indonesia. Until then, this is Timothy Lowe saying bye-bye for now. <laughs>